ಪ್ರಿಯಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭಗಿರಿ ವರದಾರಿ ಯಶೋದಾನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮುನಾತಿರವನಚಾರಿ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮುನಾ ತಿರವನ ಚಾರಿ ಯಶೋದಾನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮುನಾ ತಿರವನ ಚಾರಿ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮುನ ತಿರವನ ಚಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧಾ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿ ವರಧಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧಾ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿ ವರಧಾರಿ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಹರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರ ಹರೆ ಹರ ರಾಮ ಹರ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರ ಹರೆ ನಿತ್ತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ನಿತ್ತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ನಿತ್ತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ದಾಯ್ ಗೌರಾಂಗ ಪ್ರೇಮಾನಂದಿ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೈ ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಯು ಅಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕಿ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಠಿಕಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಧರ್ಮ we are in canto 6 chapter 13 entitled indra afflicted by sinful reactions in today text number 11 tayendra smas hat pap tapam nirvitti naam uma vishad ma vishad ಶ್ರೀಮಂತಂ ವಾಚ್ಯತಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಸುಖಯಂತಿ ನೋ ಗುಣ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗೇಸ್ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣ ಅರವಿಂದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಧಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೆಮಿ ಗೋಡ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಟ್ರಾಸುರ ಎನ್ ಇ ಸಫರ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿನ್ಫುಲ್ ಕಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ದ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗೋಡ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ he could not derive happiness from the killing of ritrasura 
Indra's other good qualities, such as tolerance and opulence, could not help him in his grief. Purport. If you can recite responsibly. Following the advice of the demigods. Following the advice of the demigods. Indra killed Vritrasura. Indra killed Vritrasura. And, this, and he suffered because of this sinful killing. And he suffered because of this sinful killing. Although the other demigods were happy. Although the other demigods were happy. He could not derive happiness from the killing of Vritrasura. He could not derive happiness from the killing of Rutrasura. Indra's other good qualities. Indra's other good qualities. Such as tolerance and opulence. Such as tolerance and opulence. Could not help him in his grief. Could not help him in his grief. Purport. One cannot be happy by committing sinful acts. Even if one is endowed with material opulence. Indra found this to be true. Indra found this to be true. That uh, one cannot be happy by committing sinful acts, even if one is endowed with material opulence. People begin, people begin to blaspheme him, saying, This person has killed a Brahmana for the sake of enjoying heavenly material happiness. Therefore, in spite of being king of heaven, and enjoying material opulence. Indra was always unhappy because of the accusations of the populace. Yeah. Give me just one minute. <coughs> Oh, Krishna. <clears throat> Om Ajnana Timirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namai Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Swarupa Damodar Swami Niti Namine Namasad Bhakta Manaye Mani Purudhavayate Srila Prabhupada Lasad Vani Prachara Niritayate Namu Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna e Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vishenama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Shri Gaura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नाम संकीर्तन यश सर्व पाप प्रणाशनम प्रणामो दुख शमन तम नमा हरि परम वाछाकूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः so the concern or the great worry indra is expressing although he has done a great task of uh, killing the most uh, most uh, horrible terrible looking demon vitrasura but uh, he is a pure devotee he has developed he has appreciated uh, his uh, wonderful consciousness the state of his consciousness being a pure devotee and all the uh, other associates they because they are celebrating because this uh, vitrasura is causing has caused havoc to them but indra is not uh, is not at all he is he is extremely worried is concerned uh, he is in knowledge correct indra is in knowledge just think of his flight he is in knowledge what are what are the consequences of his actions others are not concerned others are saying all well, indra is our father or leader everything and he is supposed to protect us and uh, he has done so they are glorifying but what is happening to indra is a very amazing thing in life this is the indra is a real character uh, all of us in the condition in the in the condition world will will have to face from the position of from ignorance utter ignorance to the platform of uh, knowledge or knowing sometimes uh, knowing is the most horrible thing one wished uh, one did not know anything <laughs> don't we have in life because knowing certain things uh, create the greatest uh, worry you know this why when krishna says matha smriti gyanam apohanam this is the greatest mercy of krishna in countless lives horrible things experiences we have gone through if krishna does not make us forget them what would happen to we won't be able to handle anything we will be we will go crazy beyond our uh, imagination but indra is uh, in a plight and uh, because he knows what is right what is wrong and what are the consequences so he cannot get away with it and so this is very very plightful you know. and especially the people around him they are also uh, people because he is a very famous person in the king of heaven we cannot imagine how high that position is and people speak ill about him although apparently he has done given protection to his populace but he has killed a brahmana we are describing the glory of a brahmana and a brahmana who is a vaishnava the other other day brahma janati ti brahmana we discuss correct so brahma is a concept you know brahma some supreme or somebody but uh, vaishnava knows who brahma is that's the difference between brahmana and vaishnava and so one could be bereft of in spite of being brahmana of the highest level brahma janati ti brahmana if he does not know who brahma is the krishna is the supreme brahma krishna is the supreme personality of god uh, he is uh, he he is still one step to go beyond his uh, brahmanism but nonetheless brahman is a very very revered position in the vedas because they represent the vedas the vedic knowledge <laughs> so when the vedic knowledge attains perfection or one who perfects vedic knowledge the conclusion then he becomes a vaishnava so ultimately vedas are meant to expose our vaishnavism the real nature of our swarup jivya swarup hoy krishna nitya das <clears throat> so that aspect so here the worry of a uh, uh, high position and uh, it is high position comes with lot of responsibilities there is a saying in hindi ki bad acha bad naam bura many of them many of you must have heard it that uh, don't mind don't mind that you are bad 
just don't become exposed. If you are bad, everybody knows it. Uh, how bad people are, and uh, we just cover it up. You know, as long as you one remains covered up, one one remains in the makeup. Uh, however bad one is, don't mind. Just don't become exposed. So this is the reality, so-called reality of this material existence, where everybody is trying to hide out behind the makeup, behind the cover-up, and feel good about it. And feel, people feel very, very think they are very smart by depriving others, by uh, making such a deal where the hidden points are not revealed, and uh, we got the better of them. People thrive in the in the business world, in the material world, in the relationships. Everywhere, everybody just wants to look good, appear good, sound good. They don't care about becoming good themselves. But uh, the plight of Indra is just like that. You know, he knows that uh, he has done many injustices, uh, many things. He's, he's struggling to become a pure devotee. Although he sees the pure devotee, he meets pure, pure devotees still. He's obsessed with his uh, material ambitions in spite of knowing knowing is not enough that's why this light is a beautiful uh, instructions in Srimad Bhagavatam which says yashya mood tamo loke yashya buddhi param gata hai every sadhaka every sadhaka must memorize this loka such a such a deep potent meaning they say Tavubho Sukham Edhaite Klishanti Antarito Janah. What it says? It says that uh, in this world, uh, certain people are the mudhas. You know? So both the lowest among the fools, they are called uh, mudha, correct? Yashya mudha tamo loke. Yashya buddhe, or those who are situated, buddhe paramgata, or those who are situated on transcendental transcendental to all intelligence transcendental to all intelligence even uh, that is paramhansa stage right so those who are uh, stuck being just uh, gross mood animals lowest of fools uh, and those who is transcendental to all uh, intelligence enjoy happiness so intelligence becomes the blockage. Intelligence becomes uh, one of the blockage, one of the uh, impasses to experience happiness. So both those who are utterly stuck in the ignorance like an animal who is eating grass, enjoying totally focus and doesn't know that next is his turn to get his uh, head cut off. That kind of ignorance. Bilkul Bindas. That person enjoys happiness because he is not concerned about the consequences, correct? Or those who have raised their consciousness about the intelligence. This intelligence it cripples us, this material intelligence. So one has to become transcendental to this material intelligence, which is most difficult for the educated people. Very, very difficult to become, to remain simple because Every time the in intelligence is uh, uh, trying to poke its nose into every affair, every iota of this existence, the, the intelligence causes unlimited distractions for its... Uh, so one, one becomes absorbed in multiple things, rather the absorption is meant to be only in one. But intelligence causes the distraction of the singular absorption in the Supreme. Then what happens then? Whereas persons between them, so between them means who is not as engrossed as like an animal in total ignorance or one who is not attained the transcendence to the intelligence, the Paramahansa stage. In between, they suffer. In between them, suffer the material pangs. So Indra is definitely in that situation. Whereas totally situated in transcendence, in singular, obsessive desire to meet the Lord. Vitrasur, in spite of being in the atmosphere of a demon, demoniac body, demon body, uh, he's totally in bliss, correct? Can you imagine? 
how powerful the message of Srimad Bhagavatam is. It just exposes where we are stuck, where we are and where we are supposed to be. What we are up to in our present state of consciousness and what we are, we, we must be targeting. You know? How can we let go of our target? Target has to be our focus all the time. But this intelligence or ignorance, utter ignorance or ignorance. So this is the this is the thing that uh, we are stuck in between. This is the Bhagavatam is exposing through Indra and all the characters. Our problem, our situation, it will stir it. It is meant to stir us up. That what we are, what we are thinking, we are defined by what we are conscious of. You know, period. Because uh, experience is conscious thing. Experience is not... Uh, the property of matter or inert matter it is the property of the conscious being so we are all involved you know so due to this lack of complete knowledge yeah this is way so knowledge means incomplete complete knowledge is transcendental or uh, samand gyan divine knowledge through realization gyanam teham savigyanam idam vakshami asheshata Yes, Gyatva Neha Bhuyonas Gyatabama Sishyati. Then Arjun, nothing else will remain to be known. That gives one the bliss. Uh, that one has is to, the transcendence, the bliss. So when Krishna establishes uh, that Janamrityu uh, Jaravyadi Dukkha Doshanu Darshanam. To, to, to come to this knowledge that this world is the source of unlimited miseries, that is knowledge. To remain, to become bereft of it is ignorance. But knowledge itself is not enough. Na? To come to know, we, we have used that analogy many times. To come to this knowledge that I am diagnosed with some disease or something like that. Do we celebrate? No. The platform of knowledge is not for celebration. It must force us. It must provide us the impetus. That I, now I have to find the solution to the problem. So what is knowledge? That is our atmosphere, our world is... Uh, is a source of unlimited misery. To become entangled, to become attached to it, to become infatuated with it, it will lead us to horrible, miserable situations. We must search out, we must search out for transcendence, the real bliss. So the lowest among the fools, uh, they describe, you know, because of ignorance, uh, due to lack of complete knowledge in transcendence, uh, due to that ignorance. So, Knowledge is also uh, associated with ignorance, you know. One aspect of ignorance is gone, the gross mode of ignorance. But the ignorance about the transcendence, that is the point. So the, every, every word, every expression, when we describe what is, uh, what is ignorance. Yeah? So knowledge also acknowledges our ignorance. Knowledge means to acknowledge our ignorance. Ignorance nonetheless. Ignorance of what? Ignorance of transcendental situation. The platform of knowledge does not guarantee our attaining. Have you attained? Oh, now I'm in knowledge. I'm, no, I'm in knowledge of my ignorance. That is the aspect. So due to the lack of complete knowledge in transcendence, the, condition, the conditional state, correct? So that's why Krishna says, Kaivalyam Satvigam Gyanam. Even the knowledge of Brahma is in a mode of goodness. Kaivalya Vichar, all this, uh, all this total uh, in the name of transcendence, when they uh, establish the mode of goodness, quiet, peace and everything, non-association non with the mode of gross uh, passion and ignorance. But that is not transcendence, but they, they, they celebrate it as transcendence. It is not transcendence. Transcendence is completely beyond it, beyond the mode of even goodness. So the living entity in the conditioned state, he presumes First he presumes, then assumes, you know, takes it, takes it for granted. Uh, what he takes it for granted? That uh, by performing some pious deeds or activities, you know, I will do something. And, uh, and he can offset the effect of his sinful activities, correct? People very much uh, in, stuck in religiosity and try to justify and even in the repentance or uh, whatever situation. They think that, yes... Uh, so many sins I have done right, wrong. So let, let me just do some pious activities and they will offset the deeds. They just presume and assume, correct? Because they are in ignorance about 
the consequences of karma. Gahano karmano gati. They do not know how to become, how to absorb, uh, root out the, the entanglement with karma only by taking shelter of Krishna. Because they are in ignorance of that. They just uh, take it, you know, just do some good work and effect of bad and good, they will just, um, they will, uh, effect will uh, offset each other, correct? But it is not possible because both cause our bondage. Good actions or prescribed or authorized actions within the Vedas and the unauthorized, that is sinful. Authorized is Punya or Sukriti, unauthorized is Pap or Duskriti. We are just, but both are causing our bondage. Both cause our bondage. So one action which causes one action, uh, the effect of it, if you want to root out by taking another option, which is also causing our bondage. We are never out of the circle of karma. So one action cannot free one from the effect of another action. Rather, the very action will cause another effect. <laughs> so cause and effect, cause and effect. Karma fal, karma fal, karma fal ki chakri, chakra mit nahi sakta is prakar. Because both, both cause the bondage to this world. Only pure devotional service will offset the ill effect of both. Ill effect of both, Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, uh, both are Papa. Papa or Punya, both are Papa because both cause our incessant bondage to this world. We cannot afford to become stuck with the, with the Punya. Janma Koti Sukrita Ina Labhyate, Rupa Goswami describes in Padyavali. Without taking shelter, without becoming obsessed with this Krishna consciousness, uh, Millions and billions of pious activity, punya dan, all these wonderful acts. Janma koti sukrita nalabhyata. We cannot attain freedom from this uh, entanglement of the three modes of material nature. In spite of performing billions of pious activities in billions of lifetimes. Janma koti sukrita nalabhyata. That's why Krishna also says, buddhi yukto jahati hai, ubhe sukrita duskrita. Jahati hai. Krishna, Arjun, uh, free yourself from the entanglement of uh, even good acts because you are doing good. You know, people take can take very pride. You know. People have uh, multiple ways of taking pride in their doing so good. You know. And they are stuck here because if we take pleasure, if we take uh, uh, pride in doing anything so-called good in this material world, we'll, we'll stuck here, we'll remain stuck here. That is the point. That is the danger. Krishna says, Jahati hai ubhe sukrita duskrite. Tasmad yoga hai, you just become connected to me. Yoga hai karma sukho. Your connection to me is the perfection of work. So one who becomes connects to Krishna in love. Because <clears throat> that is the ultimate connection. Yoga means Krishna priti. Ultimate meaning of yoga. Kisi se milna. Kisi se judna to yoga. Prem. <clears throat> Preeti is the ultimate villain. Preeti causes the sweetest obsession. When you fall in love with someone, and if it is eternal, if one falls in love with Krishna, that is yoga. That is yoga ultimately. And that is anchored after by this. That, oh Lord, may I, may I think of you lovingly, incessantly day and night. Charana smarnam premna atava deva sudur labham. Yatha kathanchit nihare mama bhuyad aharisham. Hankering. Why hankering? That in spite of so much effort or sadhana, I'm not able to remember you constantly. This is reality, correct? We must admit, most of us must admit that yes, in spite of doing sadhana, in spite of regulating myself, molding myself, dedicating myself, the incessant remembrance of Krishna is still missing. That is what we must crave to Krishna in our prayers. Because that is required. That alone will free us from the <clears throat> onslaught of this attacks of this material nature which uh, uh, Indra, Indra Maharaj is feeling. So, Srimad Bhagavatam in this very kind of something very wonderful uh, thing comes. So, Arjun, although Devi or Devitas have uh, given some understanding to 
uh, Indra that uh, we will perform a special horse sacrifice to offset to all these things. Uh, but uh, Indra knows that uh, one time he has been rescued again deliberately. He has killed a Brahmana for his. Uh, although it is, it has been sanctioned by God, by Narayan that yes, Tadhichi Muni's uh, um, bones will make a thunderbolt, and thunderbolt is non different from Vishnu and is still is authorized action, you know. Uh, so these uh, authorized actions in the Vedas, they don't they guarantee our freedom from the entanglement of this world. They are just trying to raise our consciousness from utter ignorance to the, to the consciousness of goodness or authorized and ultimately leading to transcendence. So which, which uh, Indra is, uh, uh, Indra Maharaj is very much uh, missing. Hmm. Uh, Praya Chittani Chirnani Narayan Pran Mukham. In, in the first chapter, somewhere, this uh, sloka appears uh, where uh, Parikshit uh, um, uh, Shukdev Goswami is uh, telling, answering the question about the atonement and repentance. Uh, and uh, he said, Praya Chittani Chirnani Narayan Pran Mukham. All the wonder. All the injunctions, all the prayas chitta or atonement, if one undergoes very perfectly and Vedic through Vedic directions, even all authorized injunctions, one undergoes for atonement. But if he is Narayan Paran Mukabi, he is non devotee. Prayas chittani, chirnani, chirnani means well performed. Narayan Paran Mukabi, but if he is a non devotee, none is. Uh, the analogy is very wonderful. If a pot of liquor is impure, correct? And if one washes it with uh, uh, all the uh, all the waters, or Ganges water, anything. So pot of liquor is compared to a non-devotee. You know, and uh, all these uh, pure waters, other uh, pure waters are not uh, not enough. One has to one has to become connected to transcendence. So that is that. Prayas chittani chirnani narayana paran mukham nanishmanti rajendra sura kumbham ivapaga karmani karma niraharo nahi atyanti ke ishyate. Shukdevo Samsi. Karmani karma niraharo. Nahi atyanti ka ishyate. By performing one karma kanda action to offset the effect of other, it's not possible. And that is the effect. Uh, Indra knows. He knows that he is uh, really in trouble. Although everybody around him is uh, celebrating, but he just cannot. He just cannot celebrate. So, uh, what we are trying to uh, understand here, like. Uh, like within dharma, when we talk about religiosity or the authorized actions. But within the dharma is also param dharma, shidan, na? just like in, in the milk. Uh, milk, the, the purified butter or the ghee is uh, hidden. So the, unless one is able to elicit the ghee out of milk, he does not know the essence of milk. You know? in the, similarly, uh, when we say punya karma or dharma, Within dharma is hidden the param dharma. The dharma, uh, param dharma is also dharma, na, but it is the ultimate dharma. So, in the name of dharma, if we don't understand the very purpose behind dharma, or the religious life, or pious life, or not something, then we are uh, bereft of it. We can become stuck even in dharma, you know, and uh, we can still be as far away. The example given, you know. Somebody may be situated at the airport, you know, waiting for the plane to come. Becomes very relaxed, you know, three modes. Somebody may be uh, time of the plane or the train, whatever situation is there. So one who is stuck in the traffic is in a mode of passion. One who is stuck uh, even in packing at home, you know, thinking, oh, we will we'll reach there. And the time is ticking out, you know, tick, tick, tick. And the person, but when the person who is situated at the airport, you know, or the train station, uh, that is in the mode of goodness. 
So in the mode of goodness, but if he if he becomes relaxed, suppose you know, just see, he's calling his friend, where are you? Oh, I'm in traffic. Where are you? Oh, I'm still packing. Are you late? 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 So the person in the mode of goodness thinks that uh, people stuck in the mode of patience ignore they are stupid. They are moved. They don't uh, come in time and everything. But that pride of him, if he if he relaxes at the railway station or in the in the, in the airport, and when but when a person becomes relaxed, what happens? He falls asleep. So he starts dozing, you know. And what happens? The plane comes, train comes, and he, at that exact moment, the the sleep or the slumber is uh, so that, uh, in spite of hearing all the noise, uh, he just doesn't wake up at that moment because he's thinking that uh, he's better off, he's safe. And the train comes, plane comes and goes, and then he again suddenly wakes up. What happened? What happened? Oh, plane! अरे वो तो आगे चली गई. On the other side, a person who is stuck in the traffic, at least he has fifty fifty percent chance. Correct? He's he's rushing. He's so when he's rushing, he's every moment aware of my God, I may miss the plane. I may miss the train. I may miss the plane. I may miss the train. He's running. So he still he has some chance to catch the plane or train. A person who is stuck is still in Peking. He has minimal chance. He he just uh, in wish wishful thinking. Oh, jab bhi me jaunga tabhi aayegi plane. You know, many people have this stupid idea. They say, oh, every time the plane is coming late, you know. So if I if I go late, I will just uh, get. It. I have heard such people. Don't worry. Ye train hamesa hi late aati le. Jab jis din tumhe jana, us din to right time pe aayegi bhi. So we cannot take the chance with reality of our existence. So the person who relaxes even at the airport. He has zero chance. <clears throat> so the Vedas are trying to pull us out of uh, utter ignorance to involve in some actions, even uh, sakam activities, so that we become active for good work, and eventually uh, to the mode of goodness and beyond. We cannot stop here <clears throat> because uh, mode of goodness uh, it is not enough. most plain painful is the platform of gyan the mode of goodness <clears throat> if one does not target beyond it uh, the whole mayavadi is stuck in the mode of goodness and the mode of goodness if the life is circular what is what is next what is next to mode of uh, goodness it is mode of ignorance if the mode of goodness does not is not targeted to lack like, Lead to the transcendence. Then, in the circular life, they repeat. It takes over, taken over mode of goodness, taken over by mode of ignorance, and that's why the, all these uh, horrible philosophies of uh, concoctions. Uh, they are rooted in ignorance. All the appearance, appear in appearance, they are in mode of goodness, quiet, quiet, sadhu, no anger, no all these things. But since they are not targeting to transcendence, they are targeting. They inevitably end up into ignorance. so mode of goodness not enough not good enough to acknowledge that there is only suffering in this world is not enough we must search out where is the bliss because we are bliss seekers anandamay abhyasa this vedanta sutra it has two connotations our acharya has explained it describes the nature or the swarup of the lord anandamay abhyasa by very disposition the supreme is in in bliss experiencing of bliss and then for the living entities anandamayo that the supreme enjoy enjoyment seeker that supreme who is described as anandamay abhyasat that supreme that anandamay abhyasat you can also experience by abhyasat means by the practice of pure devotional service so anandamay abhyasat unless a sadhak in spite of being in mode of goodness if he does not find his target if he is not targeting uh, the supreme the source of all amrita source of all ananda anandamay abhyasat then uh, he is depriving himself so shri prabhupad uh, very very wonderfully describes this uh, position of mode of ignorance like uh, life of a hog hog is uh, having the luxury he th- he is thinking he, he has the best life he is stuck in the mud the kitchen mein 
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಪಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಹೆವಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಅನ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಹೋಗೀಸ್ and children and everybody at most here and he he likes it and what is and he is having the feast of the most palatable stool correct so for a person in knowledge he, this is the most this is a this is the limit of horrible life correct but for hog it is the bliss so it is uh, it is folly to preach where ignorance is bliss correct that's why we don't preach to the animals or those who are totally engrossed to the lower modes but those who are in a passionate style the human being is symptomized by the mode of passion so human being can be preached because the very symptom of rajoguna rajo vaikalpi kam to yat a person in mode of passion is always looking for better to improve to improve improve where is the better option better option better option such people can be preached yes why not go for the best option because in a, in a material world the better option has a limit within the three modes only but uh, when sadhu comes in our life uh, he exposes to us hey you are looking for better option no matter how much money you have how much wealth how much uh, everything you have still you are hankering for more better option huh? your swabhav is very good the human being is endowed with a very beautiful swabhav because of mode of passion uh, he can definitely target uh, he can definitely be become interested in mode of in in a transcendence animal cannot be very interested that's why he's uh, he's he's having his own bliss it is not bothering him so he can enjoy shastra say he can enjoy animal can enjoy because he doesn't have the feel the consequences of what will happen aage piche kya ho koi chinta nahi the transcendentalist paramanse stage he is also he has nothing to worry he is, but indra and all of most of us we feel this thing so the example of hog is given you know so similarly human beings who are unaware of the miseries of material existence in our happy in sex life and hard labor are lowest fools they are just like animals many people are like that you know in spite of human life they are just living like animals and they, this is life the sex life is very beautiful how can you live without sex people people ask uh, this question how can you how can you live you sadhus you don't enjoy what is your enjoyment how can you so for them the identification with that sense of animalistic enjoyment is so strong they cannot get over it but uh, spiritualist they target the bliss the source of unlimited bliss no agantuk we are not interested in anything which comes and goes no we want to settle we want to connect to something which is permanent so the animals don't have any sense of miseries they supposedly enjoy so called happiness the other class of men who are just like animals they also don't care those who are liberated and are situated in transcendental position above intelligence this is the point uh, this is the point to be addressed maximum for for most of us because human being is a the buddhiman hai na buddhiman vyakti hai so this intelligence will will have to be addressed very very deeply and so those who have but those who have transcended their intelligence material intelligence they experience the incessant joy the bliss of the supreme they are really happy in our called paramhansas hansas is means in mode of goodness hins hansa ban one who is the vivek what is right what is wrong correct vivek means mode of goodness paramansa means beyond so the the word paramansa uh, is in that context uh, the transcendent one who is transcended even the mode of goodness uh, they can experience the bliss even if they have not experienced krishna if they are not stuck they are don't not not identifying uh, with this uh, superiority complex that uh, i am above the mode of goodness no then then krishna blesses them okay i will i will bind up so the inquiry about the uh, about the supreme truth is necessary in human form of life vedanta sutra states athato brahma jigyasa so this inquiry is possible uh, for that person who has not attained the stage of uh, stage of uh, transcendence yet uh, so those who are uh, stuck in between the paramansas and the fools who have forgotten the question of self realization 
in the midst of life in sense gratification. So the sense gratification grows in subtle. You know, they both uh, keep us deprived. But one who has, uh, if we if we if we marvel this uh, tidiness that uh, a pure devotee, a Mahat Purush, has come in our life, and, uh, the real justice we can do to our this fortune is by by really our uh, absolute desire to transcend our material intelligence and realize the Paramahansata of our potential. Thank you very much, Hari Krishna, <coughs> Maharajas, Prabhus, and uh, everyone. Uh, if any question, comment, addition, anyone has, please come forward and bless us. Hare Krishna Maharaj yeah, It was uh, the essence of Bhagavad culture. Yes. Yeah, so everyone is having any question regarding today's class, they can raise the hand and ask. Uh, his Holiness Matsvaru Govan Maharaj. Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Hare Krishna Dandar Pradha Maharaj. 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 <laughs> we are already blessed. <laughs> pleasant, pleasant surprise to have double blessing this week. <laughs> so, so Maharaj Ji, so when Indra was not willing to kill Vrtasura, the demigods have encouraged him. So, the demigods misguide, misled <laughs> Indra. Beautiful question. You know, he is stuck in his obligations, but there is ulterior motive, correct? So, this is how a conditioned soul, in spite of knowing, he just cannot, he, he just ends up, uh, he ends up, uh, um, he just... Uh, he just become coerced, like you know, by the circumstances, to take the action which he cannot avoid. So, because uh, making one mistake, then multiple mistake, and everything, he had to deal with the uh, with Trasur also. So this is how the living entity is stuck. Uh, so only one who has taken shelter of a pure devotee, and uh, then uh, then he can be. Become that's the only way one can become free from the implications, getting implicated into so many things. So this uh, message uh, through Indra Maharaj is uh, so potent. Uh, it's it's our story actually. Srimad Bhagavatam, all these episodes are our dhritarast we are discussing in the Hindi Bhagavatam. It's our story. Indra's position is our story. Higher or lower, everybody stuck in his own kingdom, small, maybe in the as a pig or as a slum man or anywhere. This is our story. So your question is whether uh, he did the wrong action. Uh, he has to go through it, Maharaj. Yesterday, our Sri Kantu explained, you know, yesterday or day before yesterday. There's a beautiful line that, uh, um, that one has to suffer in spite of, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, in knowledge. Uh, what was that line? I forgot that, but I know exactly what he meant to say that uh, we cannot avoid suffering until full transcendence is achieved. That's the same message here today. You know, and, uh, so Indra has some way to go and he better mold himself, his life. It's never too late yet for him also. So that is the hope. And uh, he can just uh, look back and uh, think uh, uh, how horribly wrong he has gone and now the the papa, the ill effect of his karma of having killed the brahmana is uh, like uh, he just cannot uh, get away with it uh, so easily. He will get away but he has to suffer also. So whether we call it a right action or wrong action uh, uh, he's stuck you know 
whether now now there is no time for indra to think uh, oh i could have done this or that now he has to face the consequences and uh, from one point of view because he had obligation to the demigods and since the lord has uh, also sanctioned that yes this uh, thunderbolt made by the bones of dathichi that will uh, take care of your business so the lord is just facilitating uh, indra is stuck with multiple desires he wants to remain he wants to protect his position as a king and all this all this all this and just like sakam bhakta approaches the lord so the, he, this is his position so the sakam bhakti is a uh, only could cause further entanglement one can think that yes we are bona fide you know the the devtas are glorified as those who have taken shelter of or those who are dependent on the supreme lord so be, mere dependence on the supreme lord for one's ulterior motive is not good enough also that is the message i think maharaj you are more than intelligent uh, you you get the sense what we are trying to share yes maharaj thank you very much means we have to be careful because yes as as great personality as demigods can also mislead yes yes into wrong action yes. and assure uh, protection but uh, yes <clears throat> we should not be carried away yes or we should yes. always mere, stay away from sinful activities so. yes mere knowledge that we are dependent on the lord uh, without proper action dependence on the lord means fulfilling the will of the lord not forcing him to fulfill our will krishna say well i don't have to become involved so krishna for krishna i say okay ye yathamam prapadyante tam satayo bhajamya okay you want me as much as much i as much i come in, our, in your life so how much we want the lord to come in our life personally it is up to the individual so indra is not up to that yet so he has to face the consequences good and bad use khatte meethe dono phal khane hi padenge he will protect his position as a king but he has to also undergo the consequences <clears throat> uh, so i i like that that, that aspect of uh, shrikant prabhu's uh, presentation very much you know that we cannot get away just being good <laughs> the so called good of this material world it will cause also our uh, enhance our entanglement in this world whether it is swarga or wherever you know doesn't matter we have to we cannot we cannot dilute the our absolute vision of transcendence we cannot uh, uh, diminish the absolute nature of our absolute goal hari krishna hari krishna thank you maharaj hari krishna yeah. welcome thank you maharaj is uh, this uh, priya ji hari hari krishna dandavat pranam maharaj ji mera prashna मेरा प्रश्न है कि शुद्ध भक्ति मूलक जो सेवा होते हैं वो हम तो अभी गुरु का आदर्श है साधना भक्ति और वेदी भक्ति में है तो इसमें भी शुद्ध भक्ति कभी तो आवदान भी होता है तो इसमें भी मतलब शुद्ध भक्ति होया जा सकता है या फिर समय लगता है शुद्ध भक्ति होने में या फिर तो... तो किस बात होगा मतलब साधक साधक शुद्ध भक्त ही है जो शुद्ध भक्ति के मार्ग में जो साधक है फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग ही इज ऑन द पैथ ऑफ प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस सो वन हु इज ऑन द पैथ ऑफ प्योर डिवोर्स ही इज अ प्योर डिवोटिंग वी हैव टू सस्टेन इट ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन दैट सोल द स्ट्रगल इज सो द बिगिनिंग इज टेज स्ट्रगलिंग कॉन्शियस एफर्ट to remain pure 24/7 correct in the siddha avastha one is spontaneously effortlessly is pure in his thought in his action and everything effortlessly here we want to remain pure with conscious effort our our mind is trying to run away from the thought of krishna so we just grim hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare साधन भक्ति इन द भाव भक्ति और प्रेम भक्ति और साधक है सिद्ध दे इज नॉट डिफरेंस यू यू कैन नॉट डिस्क्रिमिनेट बिटवीन देयर ट्रांसेंडेंटल नेचर साधक ऑन द पैथ ऑफ प्योर डिवोर्स सर्विस आल्सो प्योर डिवोटी सिद्ध इज आल्सो प्योर डिवोटी इट जस्ट द इन द बिगिनिंग स्टेज वन इज इन द बिगिनिंग स्टेज वन इज इन द फाइनल सो इफ वी प्रोटेक्ट आवर 
through the rules and regulations and through the absorption of our time or engaging our time in pure in the different aspects different elements of pure devotional service how he cannot be called a pure devotee pure devotee means 24/7 ihar yashya hare dashi karmana mansa gira nikhilas api avastha su jeevan mukte su so all the time if one can find his engagement in devotional service even with lot of effort you know we have so many distractions our sanskaras are our hold up in this material world but if one is determined to become a pure devotee that very determination will entail will cause him to become engaged purely so one who is engaged purely 24/7 he is a pure devotee so it is the state it is the it is the nature of engagement Uh, which makes one uh, a pure devotee because we are on the pure on the path of pure devotional service so we cannot call any sadhaka that he is not a pure devotee he is a pure devotee because he is following so sadhaka is a pure devotee he is following the instructions and directions of of a pure devotee of shri guru so how can we call him anything less than pure devotee now it is up to the individual who thinks that your question is beautiful in that regard that uh, you don't think that you are a pure devotee do you i'm asking i am i'm asking myself also do i think i am a pure devotee no because i'm trying but one who is trying we must feel we must see that he is a pure devotee so he say it's a it's a very unique paradox about it you know people may become baffled by you know, you cannot think of yourself as a pure devotee but you can others can think of you as a pure devotee yes why not simultaneously simultaneously this is possible and that will purify our vision of seeing others as pure devotees everybody is a pure devotee except myself because i am trying i am trying to but if others think of uh, us as pure devotee it is their it is their prerogative na but if you are a good sadhaka you are a pure devotee That's the point. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. I hope it is clear. Yeah. Anyone else would like to ask any more question? If any such thing is there, we can take one more question. If not. Uh, हरे कृष्णा हरे हरे हाँ तो उसी वक्त अपने की कर्म फ्री हो जाता है अपने कहा ना कि जो शुद्ध भक्ति हो जाता है तो हमें जब मतलब कर्म फ्री होता है तो प्रॉब्लम क्यों आते हैं फिर वो तो वो तो टेस्ट है आप इफ यू इफ यू आप यदि श्री गुरु कि आज्ञा में रहकर यदि व्यस्त होते हैं तो फिर वो तो आपको टारगेट मिल गया ना देन यू आर नॉट बोधर्ड भाई तकलीफ क्यों आती है तकलीफ किससे आती है तकलीफ तकलीफ तो स्टेट ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस है ना एक ही चीज को दो व्यक्ति देखकर रिएक्शन अलग करते हैं डिपेंड्स ऑन द स्टेट ऑफ आवर कॉन्शियसनेस हमारी चेतना के ऊपर है ना क्योंकि जिस जिसका ध्यान भगवान के माधुर्य में भगवान की स्वीटनेस में भगवान के ऐश्वर्य में आकृष्ट हो गया सो देन द डिस्ट्रेक्शंस ऑफ अदर पेन्स एंड अदर थिंग्स दे कैन नॉट बोदर हिम मच बिकॉज इट इज अटैचमेंट जस्ट इज या दिस अगेन वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन पेन क्यों होता है इट्स लाइक अ प्योर डिवोटी इफ इज इफ इज थम्ब इज कट इट विल नॉट बी पेनफुल everybody will cry out the pain is so 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 the it, it is the experience uh, this association with this uh, material world but in in consciousness one can is cry out to krishna that's why uh, when a when an uncomfortable situation comes in a life of a pure devotee or a sadhaka he cries out to krishna rather than cursing himself or cursing this world 
rather he just cries out to krishna krishna you really want to pull me out of this world our hands get cut off somebody insults us all these accidents we are put put in unlimited horrible situations we have experienced this but again when we experience them what shelter we hanker after what shelter we cry for so sadhaka or pure devotee is one who can cry out to krishna because shelter of krishna is uh, is the ultimate target we must have so the the body goes to this uh, pain and the mind also different things uh, they can get over uh, you know some treatment is done the body can be taken care of uh, mind can also find its uh, peace calmness by some drugs or medicine but ultimately our consciousness its fortune its potential has to be targeted so when we take shelter of the supreme by taking shelter of the spiritual master uh, we undermine we undermine the the the, the nature and the experience uh, the pain of the body pain of the or the agony in the mind the disturbance in the intelligence and the hurt in the ego and absorption into something unwanted chitta so the man buddhi chitta ahankar indriya sharir ye sab they are so used to the wrong conditioning and now in one shot taking shelter of the spiritual master i will uh, i will look behind so the answer to your question is that uh, when one takes shelter of shri guru and takes shelter of krishna he is targeting ati achievement of which will free him from all these pains uh, incessant pain being entangled in this material realm you know me aham tarishyami duranta param tamo mukundangri nishevayeva the shloka of shrimad bhagavatam you etam cha etam samasthaya paratmanishtha adhyasitam purva tamai maharshi bhi aham tarishyami duranta param tamo mukundangri nishevayeva by taking by taking shelter of lord mukunda who is the liberator of all miseries correct one of the name one of the meaning of mukunda so supreme who who is definitely capable of freeing me from all these miseries the horrible experience of this world you know so now we have at least found that ultimate solution ultimate solution of eternity since eternity we have we have missed out on this uh, solution now holding on to the lotus feet of shri guru taking shelter of krishna's holy name i will definitely cross over this in surmountable uh, horrible experiences of this world you know entanglement in this world so that conviction a sadhak gets when he takes shelter of shri guru so yes world to jaisa hai waisa rahega but this this shelter will definitely pull me out of this ending the bodily pain it is time oriented correct it will be. but what it allows is it allows our mind our our antakaran man buddhi chitta hankar to become purified body will lose its effect you know the, the antakaran has to be purified through this uh, chanting and everything uh, this taking shelter of <coughs> shri guru and the body will uh, ultimately we aspire to attain our eternal status quo uh, is the eternal associate of the supreme you know so as long as uh, we are we, we can feel his shelter then we should not worry even if krishna keeps us in this body or other body doesn't matter we have identified our eternal shelter that wo itna bada sukoon dega it will it will provide such a tremendous feeling that yes <clears throat> i am under krishna's control since krishna is in full control always 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 why should i worry more than should i let krishna worry about my destiny <clears throat> i have i have made krishna is my destiny you know let krishna worry about uh, my destination <clears throat> because i have fixed i am determined in my destiny making krishna is my destination you know like that. so that unconditional surrender of a sadhak uh, makes him immune to feel the uh, intolerable pain of uh, grow so subtle in this world 
because he has found he has found his vision situated in the transcendence like that you know hari krishna hari krishna maharaj yeah uh yes uh, we do have one more hand raised but uh, as time is already over uh, i request the participant uh, to uh, make it some other time yeah maharaj ji please uh, we can conclude okay vancha kalpata vibhyasya kripa sindhu bhevache patita nam pavane bhu vaishnavi bhu ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय श्री प्रभुपाद की जय पति श्रीपाद गुरु मात की जय दिताई गौर प्रेमानंदे गौर भक्त बिंद की जय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरिस्पत स्वर गोविंद महाराज की जय थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल फॉर ज्वाइनिंग सी यू इन द क्लास हरे कृष्ण